Thank you for clicking on the video. If you're a returning viewer, I really appreciate you guys coming back to my content. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt, this is Secondhand Home Theater, where I talk about various home theater topics, but I do it through the lens of talking about used items and buying really good high quality items for what I consider to be cheap bargain bin prices and how you can get a really good experience with some older technology and some used technology here in your home theater. Here today, this video is somewhat like that. Uh, in, in one sense it is. Uh, but in another, it's something completely different on my channel, but something I wanted to do uh, just to get out here, you know, and just put out on my feed. Uh, even if it doesn't get hardly any traction, I just really wanted to do it. And that is talking today about just some memories and some things about my dog, Winston, here in my home theater. Uh, real quick at the top, a little disclaimer. Before we get into talking about the topic here today, which is talking about some memories of my dog, uh, I do apologize. I may sound nasally or congested. Uh, there's been a lot of emotions going on the last few days. Uh, admittedly, a lot of like tears and crying, good and bad, over everything that's gone on. So I do apologize if I sound a little bit out of sorts, different from what I usually sound like in these videos. Uh, it's mainly just, just from all that. But anyways, uh, that's just a quick disclaimer. Let's get on to the topic at hand. Now, the whole point of this channel, the main sort of theme that runs through everything is talking about secondhand items, you know, and that goes from my projectors, my speakers, my Blu-ray players, you know, physical media players. The bulk of my media that I have is used, you know, secondhand, um, but primarily most everything I have here in my home theater is secondhand in some form or fashion. And really that doesn't just apply to my home theater. It also applies to my dog, as funny as that sounds. Uh, my dog was a secondhand dog, if that makes sense. He was a stray or a runaway, I guess you, you could say. He got out from his previous family uh, like six years ago. He was a couple towns over from where I live. He got picked up by the local police there, spent the night at the police station, wound up at the uh, county shelter, and just by happenstance and luck, I was out looking for a dog uh, after a number of years of kind of getting over the passing of our original cat that my wife and I had, um, originally our first pet that we ever had. I had finally gotten over that and finally decided, you know, I think I want a dog because our cat that we had previously was very territorial. He wasn't a big fan of other animals, so we never could get a dog or another cat or anything. And so I finally had gotten over that and thought I was going to get a dog. I went to the local shelter and I found Winston there at the shelter. And he was a secondhand dog, just like the secondhand items I have here in my home theater. And admittedly, he's the best secondhand purchase that I've ever made. For those of you who don't know, uh, but if you've gone through and checked back on some of my content, community posts and things over the last couple weeks, you know, month, six weeks, whatever it is. I've posted about my dog and different things, and that's because his health uh, took a pretty drastic turn over the last like six weeks. He went from being his normal self that we really, you know, knew and loved and everything to just becoming slowly more and more lethargic, uh, to having issues with mobility, having issues where he wasn't eating or drinking, uh, towards the end without getting into too many weird gory details, because I don't want to like gross anyone out, he started developing like sores that were oozing and stuff on his body. And it was just a real rough situation at the end. And so at the time of filming uh, this video, this is actually Halloween uh, when I'm filming this. So happy Halloween to those of you out there who may be watching this or belated Halloween. This is probably going to post on like the 1st of November. As of the time of recording this, it's been about 24 hours uh, since I had to make that decision that pet owners never want to make. And that's the decision to you know, let your pet go uh, and let them go peacefully. And so that happened on the 30th of October. It's one of those things that I had been mentally preparing for and prepping for over the course of 
several weeks, uh, and especially these this last week with how bad his condition had gotten. But ultimately, with stuff like that, you can think about it and have it in your head and know that that's what you want to do because you don't want your pet to suffer any more than they have to. Uh, but when you actually get there and you're faced with it and you actually have to make that decision, there's always some hesitation and there's always some you know, little bit of like second guessing yourself of what you should do. Uh, but ultimately he kind of made it known to us that that's the choice we should make. And, you know, ultimately he passed peacefully, you know, and he didn't have any other complications. Uh, so I'm glad that we were able to make that choice. And now, you know, 24 hours on and like more like 48 hours, uh, when this video posts, I really, you know, started to come to terms with the fact that that was the correct thing to do. And uh, I'm glad I didn't make him suffer. But not to dwell on all those kind of details of what went on and try and make everybody sad out there who may be watching this video, uh, you know, and myself included, recording this. Uh, I wanted to keep it somewhat in the realm of like home theater, I guess, and talk about just a couple little tidbits and like some memories and things about... Uh, my dog Winston here in my home theater over the years. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about, and I will throw this picture up on the screen uh, as I'm talking about it here. If you saw my community post from like a week or two ago when I was posting about uh, my dog, you know, Winston kind of having his health complications before he really got to that end point, I had a slide, you know, show of pictures on the post of like four or five pictures. And one of them on there is one of the pictures my family, you know, me, my wife, and then our extended family really love and really think it's like funny uh, and stuff. And that's the picture that we've kind of dubbed the Bark of the North picture. <laughs> uh, it's a picture of our dog sitting on the couch like he normally would, but we have him stylized in like a uh, one of our blankets that looks almost like a cloak, like, you know, a fur cloak that characters from Game of Thrones would wear. And he's sitting on the couch, kind of like looking up just at the right angle with this blanket kind of fashioned as a cloak around him and, you know, everything like that. And like I said, we've dubbed that picture all those years ago when we took it, the Bark of the North picture, because that was during the original run of Game of Thrones. Uh, I believe that was the final season when my wife and I were actually watching it here in the home theater. And I was a late adopter, I guess, of Game of Thrones. It wasn't really my thing early on, but I kind of watched the last season, had no clue what was going on. I knew nothing about all the <laughs> seasons prior to that and the character arcs or anything. But we watched that final season and then watched the first season of House of the Dragon a little bit after that. And then decided to go back and buy the original Game of Thrones series on Blu-ray. And my wife and I watched the entire series from start to finish. And I got to experience everything for the first time. My wife got to like see it all again in high quality, you know, high definition uh, picture and sound because when she used to watch it years ago when it first debuted, she was watching it through some pretty shady online streams with varying levels of quality and, and clarity. And there were some episodes she said she couldn't even see what was going on. So she was really happy to, you know, watch it all over from the beginning. Anyways, that's not the point, but Winston would like sit here on the couch with us and he watched basically the entirety of Game of Thrones uh, all like eight or nine seasons whatever it is from start to finish with us and we just really liked that picture of him that you know we dubbed like the Bark of the North uh, picture with him wearing that cloak. Uh, also in that picture which leads into kind of like my second kind of memory. Winston has a popcorn little container in front of him because he loved eating popcorn, especially popcorn from my popcorn machine that I have down here in the home theater. Now, anytime we would have popcorn, whether it was with a movie, a TV show, watching like sporting events, if we had the Super Bowl or something on down here, he would always be around and he always wanted to eat popcorn. And so much so that we actually have his own popcorn uh, container, his own popcorn bucket. And that's this one right here. Uh, it's very plain Jane, very like, you know, just generic, whatever. Uh, 
But this is one of the popcorn buckets you could get from our local movie theater here in town, our little small family-run theater. And initially, I was buying disposable popcorn buckets like this size and then the size that's bigger than this from like Amazon and Sam's Club and whatever. And it was just getting so pricey uh, to buy those and just use them and throw them out. And so my wife kind of made the comment one time, she's like, well, when we go to the theater in town, you get popcorn buckets. Like this is the regular size and then they have bigger ones for the large. She's like, why don't you just take some of these home and we'll clean them out and just reuse them, you know, and stuff. And then if they get really gross, we throw them out and we'll just bring some more home the next time we go. And I thought, yeah, that's a great idea. Way to like double dip, you know, on our movie ticket. And so this one here, because it's kind of a smaller size, this one became uh, Winston's popcorn bucket. And so anytime we would have popcorn, we would always put some in here and give it to him. And he would just sit on the couch and just, you know, stick his head in there and just eat one or two little pieces at a time. And he would just like eat it and it would look like he was sitting there watching the movie uh, with us, you know? So yeah, so in that picture, it's a different one. That's an older one, one of the plastic ones, but he loved popcorn. And so he still has, you know, his own popcorn bucket here in the home theater. But to finish up with, you know, the memories uh, and some stuff in general, because I don't have any specific memories of him watching a specific like movie or TV show really outside of that Game of Thrones picture. But in general, Winston was a people dog. Uh, he would tolerate other animals, other dogs, cats, whatever. You know, he was always friendly to like the woodland creatures that live around here, you know, like squirrels and chipmunks and raccoons and stuff, uh, you know, but he was really a human dog. I will say he did not like deer. <laughs> we have a lot of deer that live around our house and our property. He was not fond of them. He would bark and go crazy if deer were around the property. But other than that, every other animal that he ever came in contact with, he was always super friendly and accommodating too. But he really wanted to be around humans. He was a human dog, a people dog. And so he would follow me and my wife around wherever we went. He would follow visitors, you know, when my family or her family or just friends would show up here. He would always just want to be around the people. He, he would entertain the dogs if the other dogs that were here wanted to be around him. But more or less, he wanted to be with the people. And so he was always here in the home theater with us. So when we were watching whatever the content was, TV shows, movies, sports, like I said, he was always here. And he always sat in the same spot on the couch in the back of the home theater, which we have kind of dubbed the Winston spot uh, on the couch because he knew he could come down here with us. You didn't even have to tell him. You would just open the door. He'd come down and he would immediately just go and jump and get in his spot and he'd be set for whatever we were watching. Uh, and sometimes he'd sleep. Sometimes he would watch or it would look like he's watching what we were watching. Sometimes he'd even react to it, you know, with like action movies or horror movies. You'd kind of look at him and he'd have a look on his face. Well, you know, and he'd look at us and look at the screen and look at us like, I don't know what's going on there. That's kind of creepy, you know, but like he would really interact and like just be here with us. But not only was he here for me and my wife to watch content, whether it was just me, just her, or both of us here in the home theater, uh, another thing more, I guess, prevalent to my channel here on YouTube, outside of a handful of videos, I mean, I've got like 80 videos or something like that. I don't know off the top of my head, but roughly like 80 or 90 videos or something on my channel in the 10, 11 months that I've been doing video content here on YouTube. Out of those videos, like 95% or maybe a little more, of those videos have Winston in them. He's just in the background, you can't see him or hear him. He would just be back in his spot on the couch, uh, just there while I was filming. Uh, and really the only ones he wasn't a part of were the couple videos where I was, you know, like at record exchange or somewhere outside of the house. Or very rare instances, especially videos that I've posted in the last month, whatever, he couldn't really make it down here uh, all that much, if at all, really. 
So a couple of those videos, he's like upstairs. He's not here with me. But the majority of them, like at least 90, 95% of my content that's on this channel, Winston is in those videos. You uh, just can't see him. He's just not on camera, but he's there behind the scenes. He's just off screen to the left or right or behind, you know, where I was shooting. So that's a little more prevalent to what, you know, my content is here on the channel. But anyways, to, to kind of wrap everything up with this stuff about Winston and everything here in my home theater, uh, I just wanted to put this video out uh, because it is really humbling, um, you know, and really cool to see the support from people who've watched my content here on YouTube. I don't have a huge fan base uh, in the grand, like, scheme of YouTube. You know, I only have roughly 1,500 subscribers, or I'm right on the teetering point of, like, 1,600 subscribers at the time of filming, which is relatively minute uh, in comparison to, like, all the hundreds of thousands of millions of people that interact on YouTube. I'm just a very small portion of that, just a little speck uh, on that map, you know. But even to see that many people and even a fraction of that fan base, I guess you could call it, interact with me and send positive thoughts and, you know, show, you know, support for not only my channel, but especially you know, what's been going on over the last couple weeks or month, you know, that's extremely humbling and extremely, like, cool to be able to experience that. I'm going to move on to the next chapter of this channel and the home theater experience here, because once one door and one chapter closes, another one opens up. And so with that, you may notice behind me, there's this big old box <laughs> standing back there, uh, kind of out of focus, but it's standing back there against the wall. That's kind of leading into the next couple videos that's going to be uh, filmed and posted here in the next like week or two on my channel. Uh, not to go into a whole bunch of detail, because I'm going to have a video just exclusively talking about it, but that box that's back there is a new projector screen uh, roll of material from Elite Screens. I'm going to be doing my very first set of videos uh, that are sponsored, which is not going to be a common place thing here on my channel. It, this might be a one-off, uh, you know, for right now. I don't have any other plans to do any other sponsored videos. But that is some new material. I'm going to go through and build a new DIY projector screen. I'm going to film that and kind of long form take everyone through the process of what I'm doing and putting it up on my wall and all that good good stuff. And then I'm going to do a few videos talking about how that came to be and how that kind of worked its way out for me to do it. And then after a small little gap to like give me some time to demo content, I'm going to do a wrap up video and kind of just talk about my experience with the projector screen material and how I like it and different stuff like that. But uh, that's in the future and going forward on my channel. And like I said, I'm opening a new chapter because admittedly, I mean, all of this stuff is personal, you know, here in this video, but in a more like personal note for the channel, I really felt that I had a lot of momentum early on in my channel the first couple months. I was really just chugging along, like getting stuff in and out, and my views and stuff were just kind of incrementally, steadily kind of like just growing, you know, with each video and each kind of piece of content I posted. And then as life happens, you know, it's just that's what it is. Things came up both in my personal life with other family things, but most importantly and most like significantly, everything started going on with Winston. And when that happened, you know, over the course of the summer into the fall, you know, here where we're at now, I feel like I lost my momentum. I lost the urge to really want to produce content. And I made videos just so I didn't fall out of the algorithm to try and like keep some traffic on my channel. But you know, my heart wasn't in a lot of that stuff. I was just doing it because I felt I needed to, to keep my channel going. But my priority was to be with my dog. So now that he's off into a better place and I don't have to spend every minute that I have available to want to like be with him and uh, comfort him and everything, I'm really going to focus back on this channel in my free time and really try and get quality content, you know, out there because I've got 
like two or three pages in a notebook full of ideas of stuff I want to do. I just kind of got off the path. I strayed off from kind of what I was doing because life happened, you know. And so going forward, I'm really going to dedicate, uh, you know, time and effort to really get more content produced here on the channel. And that starts, like I said, with the Elite Screens videos and a few other things I've got planned coming up here in the next week or two. So with that, I'm going to stop uh, droning on too long uh, so I don't cry on this video. I've only had to cut that out a little bit <laughs> on here. But uh, I just want to say thanks again, and I will see you the next time in the next video here on Secondhand Home Theater. Thank you.